MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell is losing money like a delusional Egyptian cotton pillow salesman with a sketchy past who claims he gets inventions from God and that elevators attack him. Mike Lindell's bleeding cash faster than a Trump casino and he's now begging supporters for donations. You know you suck at business when you bankrupt a casino. Lindell's also upset about the military requiring vaccinations, and he's created a whistleblower page on his Frank Speech website. It's ridiculous, funny, and I'll be rolling those clips and showing Lindell's latest nonsense. I'll drop by Frank Speech for some whistleblowing. Plus, a brand new Ofecal Trump card, more secret cam footage, a Karen is caught with a fake vaccine card, and Donald Trump's laughable claims on the Afghanistan withdrawal. Yes, Trump is making the rounds, telling people how he'd do it so much better. Donald Trump has five kids with three different women, and he wants to tell us how to pull out. MAGA tears. In 2020, the Trump administration agreed to the release of 5,000 Taliban prisoners. Here's Trump's Secretary of State Mike Pompeo alongside Taliban leader Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar. The Taliban has MAGA hats in their office. Bucket of unicorn wank. Trump voters and Lindell supporters are the kind of husbands and wives that had the same last name before they were married. I did not see this coming. I was on my phone looking at pictures because Ivanka, she recently went on a beach holiday. So I've got some pretty, pretty hot pictures of her on that holiday. And uh, I'll, I'll send them to you now, right now, Brandon. You can check your email. Get on Some pretty laptop. hot pictures. Mike will send you a text. you got to see this. She's she's such a fox. She's a real fox, it's Mike guys. writing down. Um, i got to be honest. I didn't mean to call you. I was looking at the paper. pictures, and I uh, I did one of those butt dials because um, it sits funny on my diaper. But since we're all here now talking, I think we could uh, we could discuss the election fraud. He's still on it. You guys, the threats out there, I'm going to bring it up right now. If you have been threatened by Dominion, if you have evidence on him, if, you just, if, you're, if you're just a guy that wants to clear his con- conscience like this guy that's on that committee there, which I'll have his name tomorrow, disgusting. Turn yourself in to crime.frankspeech.com and put, put it out there. We'll protect you. <laughs> yes, the guy that claims he was attacked by an elevator will protect you. We are. We've got his picture. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Michelangelo? And we still don't know if he was attacked like by an elevator, like the machines are online. Did the doors close on you, Mike? Did it miss your floor and you had to walk? Is that what happened? Bucket of Unicorn Wank. So this is Mike Lindell's whistleblower part of Frank's speech where you can entrust him with uh, your secrets and he'll protect you. And you can whistleblow. If you know of a criminal or a crime. So let's have a little bit of fun here. I think I will send in this picture of Trump and Epstein. 800,000 service members still haven't gotten a shot and could face a court martial. And, you know, well, a lot of people uh, will not take it because uh, I myself, I believe it's a uh, I believe it's Mark of the Beast in the Bible. I won't take it. I would pay me a million dollars or whatever. I would not take it. Mike Lindell has admitted multiple times that he wears his cross just for TV, and it really shows here because he has no clue about the mark of the beast. The Bible says that the mark of the beast is on the forehead or the hand, not the arm. If we were all getting needles in the forehead and the hand, we'd end up looking like Post Malone. No. But here, what they're doing there, they're sorting the military, if you ask me. They're taking it, you know, that's what they're doing. They're basically saying... Any of you over here, you either take this or else you're out of the military. This, that's horrific. Mega tears. Here are all the mandatory vaccines you get when you join the Army. Army shots and vaccinations are certainly necessary during basic training and throughout your career in the Army due to the close living quarters and other factors. The Army puts a lot of money into you when sending you through basic training. They don't want you to just go out and be sick all the time. The only reason Mike Lindell is alive to be this stupid is because his parents vaccinated him. 24-year-old Chloe Mrozak from Illinois was arrested after allegedly using a fake vaccine card to enter Hawaii and avoid travel restrictions. MAGA tears. Here's the card. <laughs> if, if you look at it, it says Moderna. Not Moderna, Moderna. I got my Moderna shot. I'm gonna put that down there. I got my Moderna shot. 
If you're stupid enough to fork over a bunch of money for a fake vaccine card instead of a free vaccine that will prevent you from getting a fatal illness, it's no shocker that you can't spell. And it goes on. She, she lives in Illinois, but was vaccinated in Delaware. It, it's five weeks between doses. This woman had trouble with Moderna. Moderna. I wonder how many times she tried to do Pfizer before she started a new card. Uh, F-I-S-R? P-S-I? P? Uh, F-I? President Joe Biden's administration is planning to bring about 50,000 Afghans to the United States. No back, do no back, no visas. visas, no V's, no visas or vaccines uh, for them. I mean, this, I mean, this is, if you can look through this. Was this planned? I don't know. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, do these people really like our country? I live in Minnesota. We have a lot of uh, foreigners that came here and they don't like, they don't want to, to uh, you know, to assimilate. They don't want to assimilate to our culture. I mm -hmm. live it every day here in Minneapolis. We have a whole, a whole different culture that does not want. They want Sharia law. They want other things. Mega tears. I don't think these people that tailgate and grill ribs and chug Budweiser are going to be swayed to drop the booze and pork. Take it easy on the Sharia law fear mongering, Mike. Mike Lindell is really pushing his legal offense fund, genuinely asking for money to fight the lawsuits he's brought on himself. Here it is with this poor me video plea. To keep it honest, I've updated the image. Bad genes and substance abuse blessed me with grand delusions and stupidity. This incredible gift has resulted in me being a magnet for desperate morons that cannot accept reality. Karens and Kens have reached out to me from all over the country, telling me of the efforts they are doing to help ruin our country. I've been to the vet for ivermectin and I guarantee you that 100% of every dollar donated to the Lindell Legal Offense Fund will go to the most urgent cases at this time. Cases of whiskey, wine, and crack. Of course, most legal meetings will be on my jet or at the country club, so take comfort in knowing you're paying for that too. God bless. Lindell Legal Offense Fund Inc. is not a charitable organization for the purposes of making tax deductible gifts. It's actually a copy of the same thing Trump did and not a penny of your foolish cash stop to thing. Biden won. Don't sleep with your cousin. Bucket of unicorn wank. And on Mike's well-run television network, they are trying to get this guest on the line and it's not going well. But I think we have Tina back. Tina, are you there? Oh, she's not there. Um, she's in, in a very bad zone, I guess. Well, Can't hear anyway. What's that? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, are you there, Tina? Okay, I am here. Okay, I'm yes, here. just... You. Again, this is the person spearheading the cyber election fraud. Bucket of unicorn wank. This is the level of stupid we're dealing with now. A man refusing to wear a mask took out his anger by peeing on the counter at Dairy Queen. Can you imagine working there and someone did this? I would be getting one of those big frozen ice cream cakes and just dropping it on his knob. Flatten that thing like a little pancake. We are in a time of intellectual darkness. Garbage humans destroying the world. As it authorizes any board of county Mike commissioners Bouncy. to adopt the personnel policy applicable, applicable you, you to can see the someone's arm. which an employee classification and compensation plan has been adopted in accordance with the law. It prohibits any, hmm. it prohibits the... Always, always exhausted for a guy that sells pillows. By popular demand, I've decided to make more Trump Ofico cards. So I've got a brand new one here. Uh, it is a joint card of... Dick Farrell, Phil Valentine, and Mark Bernier, the three unvaccinated conservative radio hosts that passed away after saying the virus was no big deal and telling people not to get the shot. Own the libs. Trade your microphone for a ventilator. 65, 61, 65. Those are their ages at the time of this preventable death. No longer on air. MAGA tears. Hollywood looser. Gonna bow to Trump one day? MAGA tears. I've noticed you have a lot more dislikes than likes. Keep up the good work. MAGA tears. You are super nutcase. MAGA tears. I sleep on my pillow and you sleep on mom basement. 
MAGA Tears. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I am a stand up comedian. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. If you want to have a friend or colleague roasted or congratulated, you can book me on Cameo. If you're out, be kind to each other. Distance when you can. Wear a mask if they ask you. Just be cool. Life's short. Have fun. Be kind. Take care.